Having been a medical student, I know academic life can get very overwhelming very quickly. That's why I created this masterpiece of a Notion template, which will help you organize and schedule your academic tasks with very high efficiency and very low effort. It's almost going to do the work for you. It's going to dictate what to study, what to revise, and it is essentially the pill that will help you make your academic breakthrough. Now, let's start by seeing how this works. Please watch the video till the very end to know how to actually use this and not end up like that. In addition, I'll tell you how to download it for free, so stick around. So the template works as follows. You start off by adding your classes and the lectures, assignments, and tests of each class. Do this for all your classes, and then you can see your whole academic module or semester displayed on this calendar here. Let's see what that means. So if I added a new class or subject of, say, biology, and I added the lectures classes. This template will load up by default. I added the subjects lectures as follows and set their date to tomorrow. Once I do that, I'll see these lectures displayed on this calendar on the right. Same would apply if I added an assignment or test. I added an assignment in two days and a test in three days. And as you can see, they registered automatically on the calendar. So in short, you firstly put in your classes for the module or semester, and then put in the assignments and tests of each with their dates. And you'll be able to see all of your academic calendar here on the right, also available as a week view. Now, how do we actually go about doing the actual work with progressing in or studying this material? Here's where it gets interesting. You can then organize and monitor your studies and scheduling using these table views down here. They're divided into two parts. Firstly, the master panel, which shows you all lectures of all of your classes, as well as all assignments and all tests. As you can see in the master lectures view, for example, the two lectures we just added for biology class are there, in addition to the other lectures I already had in my other classes. Now, let's open up the page of a lecture we just added. Newly added lectures will automatically have this template, these four buttons, which we'll get to in a moment, and a section for lecture notes below. Let me add some. So let's say that I just finished studying this lecture. I'll simply click this study button. And what this does is it changed the status of the lecture from not started to studied. What about these other buttons? Well, here's where it gets even more interesting. Now that we've discussed the master panels, let's take a look at the sweetest part of this template, the revision panel. Spaced repetition is essential for anyone who wants to study efficiently and ace their exams. It's everywhere and everyone and their mother practices it. So I made this panel designated for revising with spaced repetition. But how do you do that exactly? Let's see. The revision panel shows you all your lectures, much like the master view. However, it groups and sorts the lectures based on their status, starting from not yet started all the way down to R3 which is the third revision. So you have not yet started, then studied, then R1, then R2, then R3. There's also the timing property, which shows you how many days it's been since the date of the last time you revised or studied the lecture. This might sound confusing, so let's demonstrate all of that with an example. So if I'm revising this lecture here for the first time, as you can see, its status is studied, so it has been studied once. Let's say I want to revise it. I'll open up the lecture, revise the lecture notes, and then I'll click on R1 done. Notice what that does to the status. As you can see, the status changed to R1. In addition, the date automatically changed to today, denoting that this was the day the lecture was last studied or revised. So in summary, the revision panel allows you to see the revision status of all your lectures, as well as how long it's been since you last revised each. I'll leave a detailed text tutorial here in case any part of this video seems confusing. We've gone over only the main workflow of this template, so let's take a look at its many other great features. You can use these buttons as shortcuts to add lectures, assignments, and tests. In addition, you can add resources for later reference from here. Finally, at the bottom, you'll have your workspaces. Here are the master and revision panels. They're the exact same as the ones I showed you here only differing by being in isolated pages of the workspace. I like my hubs to be compact, so I'll actually delete this one in the main page and suffice with these two. You can do the opposite if you like. Here, you'll find the resources you saved or added. And these two are just some extra workspaces which you can check on your own, in addition to a small space designated for quick tasks and to-do lists. 
Finally, this master databases toggle has all of the original databases. So if you delete it, the whole template will break down. So don't even come close to it. Leave it as it is or move it somewhere else, but never delete it. If dealing with Notion or navigating around such templates feels overwhelming, stay tuned because I'll be making a Notion mastery video soon and it'll be fire. As for the templates download, you, my beautiful viewer, can download this with a 100% discount, which is for free from the link in the description. You could pay me back with whatever you want. A like, a subscribe, a five-star rating for the template, all of that together, you name it. I hope you find this tutorial and template very beneficial and I'll see you in my next video. Arrivederci.